Hello Aquarius, I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with your weekly reading for June 14th through the 20th, 2021. Please like, share, and subscribe. Also hit the thumbs up if you can. Up uh, And also please hit the notification button. I am going live this week sometime between the 14th and the 20th with free readings on this channel. Totally free. You're going to have some big happy changes here. And the answer is no. What is that no in reference to? We're going to clarify using... Using my light series uh, tarot. Remember, this is for all Aquarius, so take what resonates for you and leave behind what doesn't. Let's see here. Ace of Swords. Uh, so, big happy changes in terms of your passions, right? The changes are going to happen sometime this week. Um, represented here by the Chariot card. The No cards is in terms of death let's get one more it's very dubious right okay so the the picture is clear here so you're, you're gonna have big happy changes this is in terms of work and career it's not a time for an emotional change for you um the answer is no in terms of a relationship um situation so although your career is going to have a boost your emotional situation is not uh, don't make any changes or any decisions in your relationship at this time because you are clouded um, with you're clouded with your own mental stuff going on right now um, and it's time to make that change in terms of your mental health because it's it's you need to you need to work on your mental health and clarity although your career seems to be going well and there's going to be a happy change for you there so because there's going to have be happy change for you there maybe you'll have the financial means to seek help maybe you're going to get health insurance so three cards subconscious conscious and advice from spirit i will clarify and then i will clarify again this card yeah nine of swords i love it i love it i love it so here's the anxiety i was getting um in terms of your emotional state so you're anxious you're not sleeping you're you're mentally cloudy at this time we have the queen of swords in our conscious position we have the eight of wands here's that career Here's the news coming. Four of Swords clarifies that Nine of Swords. The Hermit clarifies that Queen of Swords. All right, don't make any decisions in terms of your emotional state. Here's the Death card clarifying that Eight of Wands. Here's the Death card again. The High Priestess is here. The High Priestess is your energy. We'll just take her out and place her on the board. So something's going to happen in terms of your career and or finance right because they go hand in hand you're going to get some um you're either going to get a, a a promotion or a bonus or both uh, but big happy changes are happening in your career maybe a new job your emotional state needs to be worked on um you're not listening to yourself at this time like you really 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 need to seek some assistance right because i keep getting that word you need to learn how to ask for help and accept help because you are going through a lot mentally at this time represented here by the nine of swords you're not sleeping you're possibly not eating um, you're not eating you're not eating because uh, that's what they're telling me uh, for the majority of you you're not eating correctly you're not eating at all um, because of the anxiety you are feeling you are in your conscious mind you don't know where to start represented by this queen of swords this queen of swords is giving me like a reverse vibe not an upright vibe she's very confused um in terms of her mental state 
she doesn't know how to ask for help or if she should ask for help you should definitely ask for help it's clarified here by the hermit card it's a going within card and seeking answers uh within um and understanding that your instincts are correct it's time to seek help from others and or professional help which is not negative i talk to a therapist myself it's very positive here's the big happy changes happening right in your career but we need to make it happen for you emotionally as well you know you don't want to have one thing taken off and the other lagging behind you want to have them as balanced and as close together as possible represented here by that death card because this is a transformative time for you so why not why not have it all there's nothing wrong with that so many of us think that we can't have it all uh, but some of us can or work towards having it all right this is a quick reading for you i feel like it's all coming together here's the hangman looking at things from a different perspective right being strong and understanding strength um, happens when you are able to ask for help. Here's the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. If you do not take the advice given and work on your mental health, it's going to start affecting your work. Right? Big happy changes are at work for you. Not if you don't work on the emotional part because it's going to bleed in. You have the strength to move forward and move on um, beyond this, uh, but it's mental strength that's needed, which is lacking at this point. And I don't want you to feel bad about me saying that because we all go through that. All humans, period, rich, poor, go through the same things. We all have emotional issues. We all have mental issues that we have to deal with from time to time. It is a hundred percent normal at the bottom of the deck is the ten of wands is because it is burdensome you've had a lot of burdens in your life and you know this is the last weight you need to release um, i'm gonna use my awakened soul oracle card deck let's see what messages we have here family Sometimes this is it. I'm not telling you to lean on family. I'm telling you family is the cause of a lot of stress in your life at this time. And that needs to be healed, but it needs to be healed within you. You see her grabbing her belly? That is your sacral. That is your womb. It's time to heal from within, from the damage that sometimes families can cause. That's a tough pill to swallow. I've had to do it. I'm still trying to do it. I still suffer from the abuse of my past. I, I am not an Aquarius, but this reading speaks to me because I've had to do this. That is for you, Aquarius. I am Delilah Rose, and this is Delilah's Spiritual Spot.